In this tutorial, I will briefly go over the date object of JavaScript. The date object is used to work with dates and times. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a clock. So let's declare our variable. I'll call it my date equals new date. So the my date variable currently contains the current date and time. Let's first uh, view it in the like a div tag over here. So I'll just write document dot get element by ID and then the ID is time as you can see over here. dot inner HTML equals my date so the current date and time will be stored in this div so let's view this in the browser it should display the current date and time as you can see right here today is Wednesday March 28 2012 and currently it is 8.59 you can also declare date by giving it a, a date string for example if you had written February 3 2000 this would have set the my date variable to this a specified date so let's uh, view that in the browser now as you can see it now printed out this date another way to declare the date variable is by specifying the uh, year number and then the month the month uh, starts with the index 0, so 0 is uh, January, 1 is February, 2 is March, and so on. So, let's yeah, say if you wanted to print out January, you would print 0, and then the date. So, January 23rd. And you can also uh, specify the hour. This is completely optional, so 9th hour, 45th, 35th minute and 35th second now, up to here I believe is optional you only need to specify the year and the month so let's view this in the browser it should display January 23rd 2000 as you can see right here and the time is 935 and 35 seconds so let's continue on with uh, creating our clock so for the clock I will need a second so I'll just put as s equals uh, I should put var s equals my date dot get seconds and I'll just copy it I'll need the hour and the minute and change this to get minutes and get hours so my var s contains the current seconds and h contains the current hour and M contains the current minutes and I'm going to print that out into the uh, time div so here let's change this to H plus colon plus uh, M 
plus and another colon in the parentheses and then the seconds so if I just uh, view this in the browser it should just display the time that I had currently so refresh as you can see right here right now it's uh, nine o'clock and the three is the minute and 21 second so I'm gonna put this in a function called um, I guess clock I'll name it my clock And then I'll also put a timeout. So t equals set timeout. And over here I'll call my clock function every half a second. So 500 over here is the milliseconds. And I will call this function from the body with the onload event. Onload equals this. Let's save this and view it in the browser. It should uh, display the clock as you can see right here. So that's pretty much how you create a clock using the date object. There are various other functions for this object. Be sure to search it up. Just type in like JavaScript date object and look over all of those functions. They can come in pretty handy. Thank you.